you know some place for visit and seem reap Mr. Peter? Yes. Don't worry. I will explain you some temples there. Okay, thank, now it time we go to visit? Yes please. What is this temple? This is called Pre-Rip Temple. Oh. What does that mean? And what is the his story? Pre-Rip was a Hindu temple at Anchor, Cambodia, built as the state temple of Khmer King Rajendra Varman, and dedicated in the year 961. It is a temple mountain of combined brick, laterite and sandstone construction. The temple's name is a comparatively modern one meaning turn the body. This reflects the common belief among Cambodians that funerals were conducted at the temple, with the ashes of the body being ritually rotated in different directions as the service progressed. Oh, it is very interesting. And what more? This temple is located just south of the East Bare, or Eastern Reservoir. pre rup is aligned on the north-south axis with the East Mbon Temple, which is located on what was an artificial island in the Bare. The East Mbon was also a creation of the reign of Rajendra Varman. Pre-Rup's extensive laterite and brick give it a pleasing reddish tone that is heightened by early morning and late afternoon sunlight. The temple has a square layout and two perimeter walls. The outer enclosure is a platform bounded by a laterite wall, 117 meters north to south by 127 meters east to west. A laterite causeway gives entry from the east. Unfortunately, a modern road cuts across it. The four external gopores are cross-shaped having a central brick section, consisting of three rooms flanked by two independent passageways and a sandstone vestibule on both sides. To either side inside the eastern gate is a group of three towers aligned north to south. One of the towers appears to have never been built or to have been dismantled later, however they are later additions, probably by Jayavarman V further ahead, through another gate, libraries lie to either side of the walkway on the second platform. Just before the entrance there is a stone cistern, but scholars believe it was a basement for a Nandi bronze statue rather than being used for cremation ceremonies. There is also a series of long distinct galleries running along each side, a distinctive feature of 10th century architecture that would be substituted by a continuous gallery from Tokyo temple style onward. The final squared pyramid, measuring 50 meter at its base, rises in three steep tiers a dozen meters in height to a 35 meter square platform at the summit. The lowest tier is symmetrically surrounded by 12 small shrines. At the top, five towers are arranged in a quincunx, one at each corner of the square and one in the center. Deities carved as bar reliefs stand guard at either side of the central tower's eastern door. Its other doors are false doors. The southwest tower once contained a statue of Lakshmi, the northwest tower a statue of Yuma, the southeast tower a statue of Vishnu, and the northeast tower a statue of Shiva. The last one has an inscription on Lord James that dates from Jayavarman 6 and is the only proof of his reign at Anchor. It is amazing. Thank you very much. The temple pre rup was dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva, and it is probably located on a former Shivada Shram, built by Yasovarmana in the previous century. Perhaps it was standing at the center of a new capital city built by Rajendra Varman, with the southern dyke of East Bari as northern city limit. But nothing of the dwellings survived and this eastern city hypothesis, by Philippe Stern was never confirmed by archaeological discoveries. In the early 20th century the pre rup had been completely overgrown and covered with soil. The temple was excavated during the 1930s by French conservators George Trevay and Henry Marshall. Okay, it is very good information for me. Thank you Mr. Peter. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>